hey guys welcome back now this is going to be a video that is not at all how i had planned and envisioned now i can tell you about everything that went wrong just now so this video was supposed to be more so tyler recording the video for me and i was gonna edit it and we're gonna do all the things today but we did none none of the things you want to know why because angela forgot her sd cards at home so angela me <laughs> sent tyler to office depot to pick them up because i ordered them online for a 20 minute store pickup i'm like perfect no problem gets there they say oh no we don't have any oh awesome great cool all right well then, our shipment shows up. <laughs> so I'm like, Tyler, hurry up. The restock is here. You need to come because Angela has a newborn baby with her <laughs> and cannot be of any assistance. And it's just Keenan. So Tyler gets back and I look on Target because it's a Target. Nope, Target doesn't have any. They only have a 32 gigabyte, which is all of like 10 minutes of recording time. So I was like, this is totally awesome. So you will see me use clips from my phone and such, but... This video literally is nothing, and you know what? I said, you know, I recorded something. So Keenan went to Target and got me another SD card that just was a 32 gigabyte. So not a lot of space, so I didn't have much space to record, but I recorded something, and I think you guys would enjoy at least that. But this is going to be a voiceover because I literally did not think this was going to happen. I thought I'd be able to get SD cards. So long story short, Angela, stop forgetting your stuff. Now back to your scheduled program. Hey guys, my name is Angela and I have an embroidery business as you can probably see by what I'm doing. I'm currently doing maintenance before I run the machines because I have postponed doing the maintenance on these machines. It's a two million stitch maintenance. And it's been a week since it's been popping up like, you should do it, you should do it, it's time to do it. And I have just had orders so I've just been pushing it off. So you should never do that. Do not follow my example, but I'm doing the maintenance on all the machines now that way even if they don't need it. That way when it comes up again, they all get done at the same time. I just prefer to do them all at once. So it's pretty much oiling all the needles, um, oiling the rotary hook, just oiling everything, cleaning it, all that. So I'm doing that. And then after that, we'll begin working. I would say this is definitely the only thing that sucks about having a lot of machines when you have to do the maintenance on all of them because instead of it being like a five minute maintenance, it ends up being a lot longer because you gotta do it over and over <laughs> and over again. But other than that, I love having a lot of machines. These machines are the Melco EMT16X and if you want more information on them, I'll put Todd Eggersman's information right here in the video or you can also click on the link in the description to reach out to somebody and they can answer your questions. But yeah, it's just doing all the maintenance, cleaning them. It's very important to do that to keep holding your machines, make sure your machine is in good working condition. Yes, them boxes behind me are all Madeira. They're stabilizer. All Stitch has been out of stabilizer for so long, so I've been having to order from Madeira. And like, the prices actually aren't bad. Now that I finished doing the maintenance, there's definitely like a lot of dust, a, a lot of dust. Um, all these threads because I don't clean up after myself. <laughs> um, so I got to clean up all the dust that way it doesn't get on any of my shirts. And there could also be oil from oiling the machine. Um, so I'm just going to wipe them all down, clean them all. And that way we have a new clean surface to work with. These are backing holders from Mighty Hoop. Um, and these are also Mighty Hoop, they're magnetic hoops. You can get free shipping with them if you call them and give them codes Kids Customs. I'll put the number right here. So we do have a system where Keenan or I will go ahead and pull all like either the t-shirts or sweatshirts we need for each order and pull them with the packing slip and put them in a bin. And that way I don't have to walk back and forth from the craft room to the room that it has all the sweatshirts and t-shirts um we've been doing a lot more t-shirts recently obviously because it is summertime um so i just hoop everything and keep it moving um i know you guys also want to know what's been going on um recently actually just yesterday i went ahead and put up the sublimation kids shirts pre-order and this is for all the colored shirts so if you want to shop the pre-order i would do so now they'll begin shipping at the end of june 
but I'm doing the pre-order to gauge interest, and this is a limited pre-order, so if you do not order on the pre-order, you will not be getting any. If there's anything left over, then yes, I'll put them up on the website, but I literally only ordered like 50. <laughs> so there's not as much as I would usually do for pre-orders, but again, this is a lot of colors. It's 10 colors, I believe, and again, size is 12 month all the way through 12 youth, so there's a lot of sizes, and I'm only offering the color kid sublimation shirts and like the boy slash unisex style. So the, there's no fitted girls, none of that. It's just the normal like unisex fit. I do have like different plans for what I want to do for AJ Blinks. So I want to change it up and not offer like just the basic stuff everybody else has. I'm trying to be more boutique. So I'm trying to get through the stock that I do have. Um, some things will become discontinued. And I'll just begin offering new items that you can only get from us. So here you see the restock showing up. Keenan's about to go get me SD cards. But this is all like the kids cotton stuff. You can find our stuff at ajblanks.com. It's always listed in the description. Here is Miss Rio. She's saying no pictures. So for the last few, well last month I guess, month and a half. I've just been brainstorming on different things I want to do. And how to, you know, help the AJ Blanks business. Um, running a Blanks business is not as easy as it may seem and it is not as profitable as it may seem. But again, I'm just trying to work on it and see what I can do um, to help aliven AJ Blanks um, and make it stand out from other companies. Also, I also have plans. Well, also, also, wow. I also have plans for my website, the AngelaJasmina.com website. Um, and that's pretty much what this video was supposed to be, but I didn't get there. Things have just been hectic. Obviously, guys, you guys know I have a newborn. She's, what, seven weeks now? It's May 26th. We're born April 2nd, so maybe eight weeks. I don't know. I lose track. So, been getting adjusted to having a newborn and working. Oh, my gosh. Guys, that has been just so interesting. Um, because you never know how she's going to sleep. I can't plan and I'm used to being able to stay up late to get some work done, whether it's catching up on emails, responding to suppliers, um, working on new designs, uploading things to Etsy. Like I can't do that now at night. And that's when I used to do it. And at night, I, my butt is in bed at eight o'clock and I have to be in bed at eight o'clock because I don't know what kind of night she's going to have. She could be asleep one for one hour, wake up every single hour. Sometimes she'll sleep for two hours at a time. This past few days, she's sleep like three hours at a time. She even got me on a five hour, which I was completely confused. I woke up panicking like, yo, it's been five hours. Are you breathing? And I'm just staring at her face like I can't tell if she's breathing. We have like the snoo, which I think has been the biggest difference because the other two, we slept with them. Um, well, they there was no other option. Like they wouldn't sleep in a crib, in a bassinet, in nothing. They had to sleep on us, so we would sleep on the couch, in a chair, like those two. But this baby lets us put her down. So she's in the snoo, and that works very, very well for us because I can actually sleep peacefully for a few hours. Um, and Roman also decided to leave our room on his own, thank gosh, because he was sleeping in the bed with us. And I was like, this isn't gonna work. Like, you need to go to your own room. Like, he has his own bed and everything, but he would always end up in our bed He'll sleep in his bed until he falls asleep and then he'll wake up like an hour later and then get in our bed. But he had an accident in his in his bed and uh, after that he decided to sleep in the big adult bed we had in our guest room and that's where he wanted to sleep and he's been sleeping there since. So that has worked out amazingly. Has anybody else noticed um, on Etsy like a lot of the COVID crafters are going away now which is shocking but not shocking like i expected it eventually because it was everything got oversaturated for a minute and now everything is going back to normal so i think that's a perk and i think that's you know why a lot of etsy shops are doing better now than they were a few months ago so let me know if you guys noticed that did y'all see i had all the machines running i love when i got all the machines running at once it's like a a skill a, a art to it you got to put the stuff that takes the longest to embroider out first, which is those sweatshirts are like a 17 minute stitch out. And then I put on like the, all the like three, four minute stitch outs after that. And this is the Hoopmaster hooping station. Um, again, you can also order this when you give them a call. I like this for less chest logo placement because it makes it straight. Otherwise my stuff be crooked. I also like to like try to streamline what I do. So 
Like, if I have more than one left chest, I'm going to hoop them all. Because I have multiple Mighty Hoops. So I have four of the five and a half inch left chest Mighty Hoops. So I just hoop everything that needs to be hooped. And then that way I can just keep it going like an assembly line. I just try to stay as efficient as possible. Um, I think these, I think I have about 50 orders. Took me about two hours, which really wasn't bad at all in my opinion. So yeah, this day, um, I was pretty much just trying to hurry up and get all the orders done so that I can do what I told y'all I wanted to do, which was record a video with Tyler. Like, I want to make all the new items for my website, and that requires all my orders to be completed first. So I was trying to hurry up as quickly as I could to get these done so then Tyler can start recording that video. So that will be the next video I put out. It, it hasn't been recorded yet. I'm hoping to get it done today. Hoping, hoping, fingers crossed, it's, it's 10.45 a.m. And I'm going to try to post this video today to see. And then hopefully Tyler and I could record something. But I don't know, Tyler would like to record. He wants to learn how to record because he wants to make his own YouTube videos. So I think it'll be a plus. It, we'll, we'll see how the video turns out. But these are just pretty much all the orders I had for this day to get completed. So... We'll see, we'll see how it goes, and this morning so far, it's what, May 26th, I've gotten all the orders done, it was like 12 or 13 maybe orders, that was not many, so those are all done, um, that's why I have the time to sit here and edit whatever this is, <laughs> um, we are almost at 150,000, not 150,000, wow, 250,000 subscribers, so thank you guys so much. If this happens to be your first video, this this isn't my normal video. I don't normally do voiceovers like this. Um, but I haven't been posting because I just had a baby uh, last month. So I've been dealing and enjoying all the newborn baby snuggles and the sleep deprivation. <laughs> um, but I do do a lot of embroidery videos, some tutorials. I think going forward, most of my videos are going to be more of the day in the life. You're just going to follow me around see what I do. Um, I think you guys like that content better. Let me know in the description any questions you have, any video ideas. The video ideas is very important because that if I have a video idea, then I'm more likely to record a video. Um, I am also going to be trying to figure out how to take more professional photos for my website. You guys saw that huge studio photo light box that I have. Um, it works, but then it doesn't work. It works great for the kids stuff, but for the adult stuff, Adult stuff is just so much bigger, so I feel like I need more backdrop space. So I'm going to try to clear out my photo room and take that big backdrop out and then just put it on the floor and see if that works. I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, I'll keep you guys updated on how that goes. This is all the work we got done today. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.